hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to set up salesforce let's begin setting up salesforce involves configuring your organization to align with your specific business needs and that includes setting up users security settings custom fields automations and more and of course one of the uh, prerequisites is you need to have a system administrator access to perform the initial setup and having a good understanding of your business processes and how they translate into Salesforce objects like leads, opportunities, accounts, and contacts. Now, if you haven't already created a Salesforce account, I want you to visit the uh, Salesforce sign up option. And from here, you just have to complete all the information to sign up. You need to choose a Salesforce edition that feeds your need. For example, Sales Cloud, Service Cloud. And of course, you can sign up for a free trial or purchase a subscription depending on your goals, needs, and budgets. All right. Of course, click on the Start Free Trial. And then once you are logged in and has successfully created your account, the first thing is we need to create the organization. By doing so, is we need to hover to the upper right corner where you can see the gear icon. Click the setup. And in the quick find box located on the upper left corner, you need to type in the company information. Okay, so this is very important. Click on it. Now, once you are inside the company information, you can update details like organization name, address, time zone, default currency, and fiscal year. All right, so I'll leave that to you. There's going to be more options at the bottom. We're in the uh, user licenses, permission set licenses, feature licenses. So I leave that to you to edit the uh, company information after saving that the next option that you can do is go again to the quick find i want you to type in user and then click on it now here basically we can set up users in this organization all right because we're setting up the company information organization setup roles and profiles i want you to click on new user and we have an a separate video on how to, to add multiple users here in Salesforce if you're interested to check it, that out. Click on add new user because from here, all we have to do is fill in as much as information as we can. For example, the first name and provide all the information here. Okay. Like email, username, title. So let me do that. Username is DL69. Nickname is something like this. You can put in some title, for example, I am a um, content content creator. Department is video production. Division is now you can specify the roles for example if it's not specified you can put in the user license as well you can choose from chatter external chatter free identity or salesforce if you want in the profile this is very important okay because profiles define what users can do in the system for example they can read they can edit they can delete all right you can of course adjust permissions for each profile as needed for this example you can choose from contract manager and user executive sponsor marketing user minimum access to salesforce read only solution manager standard user and system administrator make sure that this button is checked so that the active option is enabled so he can or the user has all of these permission levels and access you can put in marketing user, offline user, sales anywhere user, flow user. Basically, you can check as much as you want. Okay. Allow forecasting, checkout enabled. You can put in the call center, the phone, extension, fax, and mobile number if that's applicable. Employee number if you have like a, like a com uh, company ID or organizational ID. You can put in all the information such as the single sign-on information. 
we have a separate video on how to do this and how to edit and how to activate you might want to check that on our channel now this is very important if you want to generate new password and notify user immediately you might want to check that after making sure all the information is correct all they're going to do is click on save all right so that's one way now i'm going to put in some values for now here i'll click on save all right now on the left side i want you to go to the object manager okay this is another way for us to customize salesforce for our business type in object manager will be forwarded here now salesforce comes with standard objects like accounts contacts case opportunities and leads all right so it's up to you we're going to create custom objects right here there's going to be a create option here that says custom object all right now when you create custom objects if you need to track additional data all right for example this one right here put in some description record name data text you have all these to allow reports activities track field history allow in chatter groups enable license uh, licensing in development or deployed so you have all of these options once you are happy with that all they have to do is click on save all right so these are some of the ways for you to set up your business or your account data here in salesforce now now another way for you to set up your mail settings here in salesforce again go to the quick find type in inbox and there's going to be called the setup assistant i want you to click on it so you can set up your inbox you see this is the way for you to set up the salesforce inbox you can set up salesforce inbox because it will help you boost productivity with more email features all right make sure that this option is checked so that you can make the in inbox available to all users you can give users access to productivity features in their email such as scheduling email delivery you also need to enable inbox features you can use the einstein activity capture and for that to happen you need to click on the setup option here all right it would be forwarded to another option wherein you need to set up the einstein activity click on get started and you would be forwarded to another option just click on authorize by your company to accept these terms you can use all these options google suite microsoft 365 and microsoft exchange all right and after doing all of this you can now configure salesforce to meet your organization's unique needs making sure it's optimized for efficiency and growth thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video